Hi, I'm Tina from Josh's Frog's Plant Department, and today we're going to learn how to grow wandering Jews from cuttings. Take your pot, fill it up with uh, a good quality potting soil. What we're using today is Josh's Frog's potting soil. Pack it in, not too tight. Move that out of the way. Now what we have here is a variety of wandering Jew cuttings. We have some white fuzzy, some purple, some tricolor. Uh, we're going to plant the purple out today. Now here I have two cuttings and on the cuttings you'll see that there's a number of leaves. It's important that you have uh, a good size cutting because the roots that are going to come out will come out of the nodes and the nodes are located, if you could see, on the stem right about the area where each leaf comes out. So on this particular cutting we have one, two, three nodes. You want to make sure that at least one node is underneath the soil because that's where the roots will come from. So now we're going to take the cuttings and we're going to remove the leaves from the bottom node. They are not necessary and they will just rot. So we'll cut those off as close to the stem without cutting the stem as you can. There. Now we have two cleaned up cuttings. This is the node and this is where the roots will come out of. Cool. Now right below the node is just a portion of stem. That's not going to do anything, so we're going to trim that off. Leave about a quarter of an inch of it on. Again, we'll do it the same trim that. Just like that. And I like to plant more than one cutting per pot. Um, you can plant one cutting per pot if that's what you like, but I want a fuller plant, so I'm going to plant both of these cuttings in the same pot. I'm going to put them together. I'm going to take a bamboo skewer or um, the handle of a spoon, something from your kitchen, and make a hole in the soil right in the center. Now you have to make it deep enough to make sure that the node will be under the soil. So we're going to put that right in the pot. We're going to push down the soil so they'll stand straight up. Be gentle now because wandering Jews are really brittle and you can easily snap the stem. There. If you need extra soil to bring up to the top of the pot, just add it in. Now, when watering your wandering Jew cuttings, you're going to want to water heavy for the first time, and then after that, make sure that the uh, soil stays moist. Don't let the soil dry out. Um, it's really, really important at this early stage of uh, growth that you keep the soil moist. So we're going to let that drain through. Let me see. I'm going to grab this so I don't get water all over the table. And continue to water until you see water come out from the bottom. That means that it's soaked all the way through. Just like that. And there we go. It's coming out from the bottom. So we'll set that aside just for a little while and let the water pour through. Now the next step is to put your pot with your wandering Jew cuttings in it in a Ziploc bag or some type of clear container where the humidity can uh, surround the plant and assist in the uh, growing stage. I'm just going to drop this in this Ziploc bag. I'm going to seal it, put a little bit of air in it, just blow a little bit. Just like that. And seal it up good. And what this is going to do is create a mini greenhouse and it will help the plant uh, send out roots and grow. Um, put this in indirect light. Do not put it in uh, sunlight or direct light because you will bake it. It will bake your plant and they will die. Um, you should start to see or notice um, by tugging gently on the cutting in a couple of weeks. Um, if there's no play or give, that means that the, you have roots, um, which should take it about a week and a half to two weeks. After you tug on it and notice that uh, there is no play and uh, roots are sending out, you want to remove it from the bag. Again, put it in indirect light. Um, keep the soil moist, and after just a short period of time, you'll have a beautiful, full, wandering chew.